when an attendee logs in or when um, you log in, you're actually gonna come to the dashboard. And I'm gonna go through the attendee experience first and then fill in your role in that attendee's experience as we go and then show you your screens and your experience. So if I'm an attendee and I would like to request to be screened, I would come into our career fair um, and I would uh, click on your booth and then I would request, uh, I would start my pre-screening. So in this, I'm actually gonna answer your six questions. Um, and as I said, some of these can be uh, multi-select, some can be single select. Um, and I'm just gonna answer these really quick. They can be open-ended. Um, and then after I answer uh, those, I'm going to be taken to um, view my profile. So um, the attendee, when they go through their onboarding or um, when they first log in, they're going to go through onboarding and they'll be able to upload a, um, a resume on file that if they choose, they can use that for any uh, company that they'd like to request to be screened with or they also have the opportunity to upload a unique um, resume just for your company. So we give them a few options so that they can really gear their um, experience with you towards your company um, as you normally would in any kind of um, uh, resume, uh, um, excuse me, and any place that you normally submit your resume, I apologize. Um, after I've uploaded my resume or decided to use the one on file, I've decided everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and continue. And this is actually where we're going to pull in your bucket. So you will not need to use one of your six questions for that. Um, we're going to pre-populate this based on your uh, the buckets that you set up. Uh, so if you do have a lot of buckets, then you're not um, adding it in twice. Um, so I'm going to select that I'd like to be interviewed for an account management role. And then I'm going to complete my screening. So after I've done that, I'm going to see a thank you. Um, I'm going to have a few instructions, a few tips, um, another uh, request to test my video, and then I can choose to return to the career fair. So what happens now? What do I see in your booth? So I've requested my screening, but I haven't been assigned a bucket yet. So this is what I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see, thank you for completing your pre-screening. You'll receive a notification when um, you are sent to uh, screening. And that's it on this one. Um, but now I've been assigned a bucket. So I've received my notification um, and I, you know, say it's Wednesday and so career fair isn't open, but I know I wanna screen with you. So Thursday comes around, okay, um, now what do I do? So, um, sorry, one of my, let me come here. I apologize. Here we go. Um, so now I'm going to come to your booth and I'm going to see that um, my, it's ready for me to screen. I can go into my screening queue. So we make it really easy. There's a couple of different areas that an attendee can go to to get into queue with your company um, so that they're, a, they'll, they're able to easily um, access this queue. So now I'm gonna join the queue. Um, so first things first, I wanna make sure that my video and my audio is working. So when we go on camera with you, we're ready to go. I'm good to go. I see my video is working. I'm going to enter the queue. Um, again, another few helpful things here. Um, we have the company name at the top, the bucket that I'm going to be interviewing for. I can also see what my current position is. So there's about 21 people in front of me. I know these take about five minutes roughly. I might be able to go let the dog out for a second. But once this gets down to like, you know, five in front of me or 10 in front of me, I know don't leave my computer, make sure I'm here and ready to go. As I'm waiting, I have some, um, some information I can read. I can look over the screening staff that might screen me um, and get to know them. Now, say there's a hundred and some odd people in, in the queue and I'm like, oh, that's a long queue. Why don't I go ahead and look at some of my on-demand uh, videos while I'm waiting? I can always leave this tab open 
and we and and watch videos of uh, from the conference um, as I'm waiting to be entered into queue. Once this hits zero, um, then I will be taken into the queue automatically, um, into the screening automatically from the queue, and I won't have to click anything. I'll just go straight in. Um, so when I am in the screening, this is my view. So I would be able to video chat with you, um, just as if we were having a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I'm able to see how much time is remaining. Um, and if for some reason, even though I checked it, I have trouble when we get into the queue, we can chat live via text. Um, this is just really for a backup if we need it, but um, you know, our hope is that everybody will be good to go by this point. And what happens when the five minutes runs up? So as the sponsor, um, the representative, you can choose to add the two minutes on uh, before the time runs out, but say we had a great conversation, everything is done, we don't need to continue talking. This is actually gonna then take me to um, a thank you page and um, uh, and I'm gonna be able to return to the career fair. Um, so now that my screaming's complete, this is my next view. Um, I'm going to be given a notice that thank you for screening. Um, you'll be notified if you're selected for an interview. Um, so once my interview is scheduled, I'm one of the lucky ones, I got through to an interview. Um, I'm going to be able to see from your booth again that um, what time my interview is and what day. Um, what's great about this is I'm also going to have another area to get to uh, to view my interviews in a list. So I'm actually going to be able to see my interviews in a full list right here. Um, so I've received my notification. I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to be able to come here to my interviews and I'm going to be able to see that I've scheduled an interview with meeting play at 10 a.m. Um, I can enter this interview 10 minutes early, um, but if for some reason this interview is not going to work for me, I can actually decline the interview and give you a reason as to why. Um, so now it's time for my interview. It's 10 minutes before. I like to be early. Let's go ahead and get into the room. It's basically the same experience as if I was screening. So we kept it very um, streamlined so that attendees didn't have to be guessing between you know, each one. But now you can see I've got a little bit more time, up to 30 minutes to talk with you. And um, I make sure that I'm putting my best foot forward. Again, we have this backup of the live chat and, um, and we're going to be able to video chat and talk together. Um, now, once this ends, you know, our 30 minutes are up or we've decided that, you know, within the first five minutes, you want to hire me. Thank you so much. I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to be taken to my interview complete and thank you for your time. Um, and again, I can go back to my interviews or I can go back to the career fair. 